do you have a uh, scene there? Do do I have? Are are you saying do I have a, an analysis about um, how much of an impact eating locally would have? Yep. Um, I do not here um, in this particular simulation, nor um, do I have I done anything in particular on that. Um, mm -hmm. But I can check with my uh, colleagues back at Climate Interactive mm -hmm. and others to see if we can find out what the uh, what the projected impacts might be of doing so. I think that's a great question. And again, a previous caller um, or a person posted here saying that actually what you eat might be even more important than um, eating locally. Um, so uh, we should we should definitely find out more about that. Um, thank you, Raul. Um, let's see, we've got another caller here. I've got uh, Chris Frick. Are you out there? Hi, sir. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Hi. Um, I'm a student in uh, Long Island University in New York, and I'm doing a thesis project on the system dynamics of uh, climate change and sustainability. Um, I'm just curious, uh, in your professional opinion, what are some good sources where I might be able to get some realistic raw data for developing system dynamic uh, diagrams of my own? Um, does, does that mean... Um, Understanding and getting models that are already built in this area, or yeah. more like the data. Um, well, I need some data uh, to put in so I can uh, get the graphs uh, to come out the other side of the diagrams. Um, okay. I'm reading some books right now: "Limits to Growth" by Meadows. I'm reading uh, "World Dynamics" by Forrester, and they all have the system dynamic diagrams, but not much of the raw data, so that I could recreate the diagrams. Yes. Um, you can access the uh, the simulations and uh, models that I'm showing here. It actually gets to the uh, to the Vensim model, or I can share um, a Stella model with you of the okay. uh, underlying Sea uh, Learn model that I've got. Um, so um, Climate Interactive has the as a Vensim version, okay, and uh, I also have the uh, a Stella version. The Vensim version is documented. They actually had funding and support to to develop that. Mm -hmm. um, or to develop it up recently, um, and I converted a version over into Stella, um, and just due to the fact that uh, I was doing it as a labor of love, I didn't uh, go through the, the extra documentation steps that goes along right. with it, right. but, uh, but that, that, those are available. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, thank you. All right, we've got time for uh, one more question, and it looks like, um, I, I will not say this very well, so please forgive me ahead of time. But I've got Shashi Dungal. Okay, well, um, if you can say your question briefly, I might be able to hear it. Okay, my question is like, you saw a couple of policy choices, but how would you identify those policy choices? Those are the information that you feed into the system and the system simulates. But how would you identify those kinds of policies to uh, fit in your system? How do you identify the different types of policies? Yeah, well, the, the policies that were in there that I showed today, were, again, were uh, analyzed and, and came up with by Climate Interactive and uh, Sustainability Institute based upon current proposals that are on the table. Um, you can uh, you know, look around through the literature and, and see what other types of policies you know, have been proposed, um, or you could uh, you know, come up with, uh, with other ones. I don't, uh, I don't have a, a source for... Uh, for where other policies that are on the table or, or out there are, but you know you can you can certainly look around for those, and again any that you can find or not any but most that you can find you could then test out with the, these types of tools. Okay, um, thank you so much for all of your questions. It looks to me like I've got a list of about uh, 20 or more questions. We will answer these after the the webinar is over. Um, I will post a, a list of the questions and the answers online. Uh, again, the caller earlier, I apologize, we tried to get you, um, but it didn't come through. Please make sure that your question has also been typed in. I'd be happy to answer that as well. Um, what I would like to do now, though, is to just wrap up um, and, uh, and to, to send you on your way here at, uh, at 10 after, as we, as we said we would do. Um, and most importantly, um, there will be a, a web, web page when this is over where we will eventually post a video of this entire webinar. So you'll be able to relive this experience again.
Um, it's kind of like deja vu all over again, as they say, Monty Python land. Um, but you can uh, relive it again, and you can also share it with others that you want to, uh, to communicate this with. Um, and we also will be having a blog there where you can post um, and, and put in questions and topics and ideas um, associated with each of the simulations that I just showed. So uh, we hope that this isn't the last time that you interact with us over this. We would like to, to see you continue to, uh, to engage with us more into the future. Um, <clears throat> I'm posting a few uh, resources here. There are a gazillion resources uh, associated with climate change but I just wanted to post a few that I'm aware of that I think might be useful. The first one, again, is the climateinteractive.org one. The second one is the blog uh, from this webinar, um, and we're, again, we're going to post that up uh, as quick as we can. Um, there's a couple of organizations, ICLEI and Post Carbon Institute. I have many friends and colleagues at Post Carbon Institute. Great source of information, not only about uh, energy and emissions issues, um, but uh, issues associated with uh, um, peak oil and other topic areas, limits to growth that you may or may you may be interested in. Um, and another colleague of mine has uh, got a, a little booklet that she can give you um, if you go to Go for Change um, on things that you as an individual or businesses can do. Um, a final resource is if you sign up for uh, our webinar series, which again starts next month, um, there will be three more parts to it. If you sign up for that, uh, you'll be able to continue this conversation with me um, through that, as well as we will dive into more of the modeling skills. Again, I didn't show a whole lot of how you actually develop models. If you're interested in developing the models like this, what types of skills are required to do so, we will go into those into more depth in the following three sessions. All right, so let's just wrap this up. I just want to point out, again, that many of you may be feeling climate change is this huge, big issue. It's happening out there. I don't have a whole lot of control. I'm really a victim here. And again, that comes out a lot of the, the developing bee nations when we do the, uh, the sims um, as, a, as an exercise. So you may feel that whatever you do will be insignificant. So your action to add to the total actions that are out there reducing emissions, to actually reducing emissions, to slowing global warming, may seem like um, a flea crawling on an elephant. But it is very important that you do it anyway, as Gandhi said. Your actions add to other actions, which can generate a positive word of mouth, which can um, lead to more actions taken to reduce emissions, which might lead to changes in infrastructure to reduce emissions, which can then activate our higher selves in the breadth of what is possible. So we can think and continually expand and innovate how we're uh, going about this. I'm uh, indebted again to Sustainability Institute for this particular slide. I think it captures it uh, in, a, in a nice, raw, visceral way um, what it is that each of us can do, although it may seem insignificant. It's actually important that we do it. And we'll end with uh, Arthur Ashe's quote, start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. So that's my encouragement to you um, as uh, individuals, as colleagues in this, Let's stick together. I want to thank you so much for attending. I hope to see some of you next month in the webinar series. We'll answer your questions uh, in the meantime for those of you that posted. I thank you so much for really actively engaging with this. Please do what you can. Thank you so much. Take care.